Thank you for visiting softwareandfinance.com. In this session, I am going to teach you about class constructor destructor. And the, the constructor, uh, I will go over about default constructor, copy constructor, and parameterized constructor. And also, I will, I will give, explain about the destructor. Let's enter into the Turbo C. I will save this file with the uh, constructor .c++ and I will include the standard header file iostream.h and we can have a class called uh, rectangle By default, the objects are private, and for constructor, I'm making it as a public, and it can have four variables: int, left, top, right, bottom. And I will write the default constructor first, and it can be initialized with the values zero. And this is one way of writing the uh, constructor with initializing the member variables. But the efficient way would be having the values directly mentioned here with the colon. This is called a C++ initializer list. So that we don't need anything in this slide. This is default constructor. And now I will write the copy constructor. Copy constructor syntax is the class name and within that const and then the class name and then the ampersand the variable name. Here we have four variables so you can use this dot left for representing the current class and other dot left is an which comes as an argument and similarly this dot top equal to other dot top and then this dot right equal to other dot right that's it copy constructor is done now I can write the assignment operator. The syntax is almost uh, looks like a copy constructor with a simple difference. So I will copy it for easier things. Instead of class name, you have to put operator assignment operator equal to, and the return value is const rectangle reference and here we got return return star this that's it and finally the destructor destructor no quotes as of this so we have written the class so uh, for easier understanding I will include an C out statement so that we will know which class is getting called or which function is getting called. Say default constructor. Say slash n. Now I will say copy constructor here. Here I will say assignment operator. Here I will say destructor.
constructor can be in any number but that there should be only one destructor now I will write the main function rectangle r1 uh, let's call it as a diff it will call the default constructor then I will call the copy constructor with R1 then I will call the copy constructor in another way this also calls copy constructor it may look like it will call the assignment operator but it is an initialization only assignments for assignments, assignment will operator get called for. If it's an initialization, copy constructor will get called. So there are two syntax for this. Now finally we will have a rectangle or no, that's not required. We'll say R1 equal to R2. So now it will call the assignment operator. then when the program exists you will call uh, uh, one two three three objects destructor so the output what we can expect from here is the default constructor copy constructor copy constructor and then assignment operator and then three destructors let's compile this program and let's see whether we have any compilation errors yeah we have errors this should have the pointers yeah now we don't have any errors so I will run this program So default constructor, copy constructor, copy constructor, assignment operator and then three destructors. So now it looks perfect. So we got our desired results. Now the question is uh, why do we need the return value here? What if, if I don't have any return value? That's a common question. See if you go for an interview people might ask. So let's try with void and let's see the behavior. If it's a void then we don't need this. Then look at this. It looks good. Hmm. Now also it looks good. So there is no issues. So why do we need that statement? That is the return value. The problem is let's see here I have a R1 equal to R2 I am going to have another statement R1 equal to R2 equal to R3 this R, R, the R3 will be assigned to R2 then R2 will be assigned to R1 so this is also a valid syntax let's see whether it can work it doesn't work because it is not an allowed type because it is an void return so for this purpose only we need construct angle Now if we have this syntax, now it will work. Let's see how it works now by running this program. Yes, now it works. So for this purpose we need this construct angle reference here and that should be only one destructor there is no questions and you can control the lifetime of the object with the um, having a block like rectangle temp let's call the default constructor 
and then I'm putting it. So now we will see the now I will remove this line to avoid too many confusions. Now we can have the one copy construct sorry, one default constructor, then copy constructor and then one default constructor and destructor then copy constructor then adjournment operator and then we'll have three destructors let's say the compilation is done yes if you see here this in a default constructor after that the destructor is there that's because i introduced this block if i don't have the block all the destructors will be moved to the end So all four destructors will be moved to the end. Uh, that's it. So if you have any questions, let me know. And thanks again for visiting software and finance.com. Thanks.